सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट डेटा इंजीनियरिंग सो फॉर दैट टूडे वी हैव दस ईशा श्रीवास्तव हुटली स्विच फ्रॉम इंफिनियॉन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेर शी वॉज अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एंड देन शी ट्रांजेक्शन इन टू डेटा रोल एंड देन नाउ शी हैज स्विच रिसेंटली टू मंथ बैक शी स्विच टू गेम्स ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन एज अ डेटा इंजीनियर सो शी इज गोइंग टू टेल अस ऑल इन डिटेल अबाउट यू नो बाई यू शुड ज्वाइन दिस फील्ड वॉट आर द सैलरीज and they are great by the way and uh, how to prepare what resources she herself used so welcome to the channel isha thank you thank you so much amisha so as amisha introduced me my name is isha shilvasto and i am a 2023 graduate so i am currently working as a software engineer i can say data engineer like my designation is sd <laughs> so sd1 in uh, games 247 which is the parent company of rami circle and my 11 circle so previously like i was uh, associated with infinian as a dot net developer then i transitioned my role as i was more inclined towards the data side yeah cool that's great to know so first of all why should i transition to data engineering like what is it and i have heard it's booming so can you confirm that yeah sure so see like data engineering is uh, all about building the pipelines and infrastructure that move transform and store data okay so it's uh, like uh, that data is ready for analysis like you can imagine it like uh, setting up roads bridges and traffic systems so that data can flow smoothly from like source to the destination okay so right now data engineering is booming because like with companies collecting more data than ever they need skilled engineers to make that data usable okay so what happens is that like every industry finance healthcare gaming e-commerce like they need data pipelines to power analytics ai and uh, business decisions of course so even you might have read that on linkedin or any other tech blogs that data engineer roles have seen a double digit growth like year over year so yes the demand is strong and growing so even i think that there will be more jobs coming in in the upcoming years itself yeah and with the ai boom as you can see data is more important than ever so if you want to transition i think this is the best time and uh, coming to the next question what are the salaries in this field okay so i think i can say this as a fresher in data engineering your salary can vary a lot depending on the type of company you join so in service based companies the starting salary is actually lower like you can expect around 8 to 10 lpa uh, but with good skills or maybe certifications you might get up to 12 to 13 lpa itself but it's rare for for freshers okay so like in product based companies like amazon microsoft google flipkart or like startups working on data heavy products for example games 247 of course the pay is very much higher so here a data engineer salary is very similar to that of an sd you can expect anywhere between like 15 to 20 plus lpa in fact as a fresher you can uh, if you can crack those tougher interviews it's like great for you so the actually the difference mainly comes from the uh, complexity of work and how core data is to their business so if you are aiming for a product based company focus on problem solving coding and like system design skills alongside your data knowledge what could you learn so as you mentioned like service based like for product based maybe system design psa so can you elaborate like and what did you learn okay so yeah first of sql like this is your bread and butter you will use it to pull data out of databases join tables filter stuff basically if you can't write sql you can't work with data then there is python super important for writing script that automate data cleaning loading on transforming uh some companies use scala but honestly python's more common and like beginner friendly so i'll recommend that and then you will also need to know the databases both relational ones like postgres or mysql and non relational like mongodb it's about understanding like where and how the data is stored next uh we have got etl tools like airflow and dbt so think of these as a tools that help you move and transform data automatically every day like without you manually doing it so airflow is uh, more for scheduling the task and uh, dbt focuses um, on transforming data inside the warehouse okay then there's big data tools like uh, this is where spark and hadoop comes in 
so these help uh, when you are working with huge amounts of data that can't be handled by normal databases so sparks really powerful for processing large data sets fast actually so and of course like everything is moving to the cloud these days so you will need to be like comfortable with the, either aws gcp or azure like uh, using s3 to store data or uh, maybe bigquery or redshift to run analytics on really large data sets okay so uh, lastly like a little bit of theory will be enough like understanding data warehousing concepts like things like um, star schema data lakes how data should be structured for reporting this this actually helps you in designing the like pipelines that actually make sense for the business so yeah that's the toolkit like i i know like it sounds like a lot but you know you don't need to master everything at once so start with sql and python then build from there can you share your experience like what was asked in your games 24/7 interview uh okay so i basically went through four rounds of interview so the first two were technical followed by a discussion with the director of engineering then a uh, final round was conducted by the company ceo okay then uh, okay so first round was technical and uh, like they asked me dsa questions like uh, related to cadence algorithm buying research and bfs like for data engineer role they'll be asking you like easy to medium lead code questions they won't be going like above than that so then um, the interviewer uh, like explored different approaches to solving the problems like optimization how can i optimize the problems then there was a project discussion um then he asked me about the how can i optimize the atl pipelines and high level architecture of spark and some questions like why so in my previous company i was working with hive so they asked me like reasons for choosing spark over hive okay then some uh, background about my real time an analytics project kafka ingestion and some compression techniques so after that they asked me some questions related to sql and in sql as well they asked me about advanced sql queries like based on different scenarios including window functions so that is uh, that is a topic which is coming under the advanced sql okay then uh, my second round um, was also technical uh, it was also focused majorly on project discussion like um, about the spark performance tuning and some aws services which were listed in my resume the team structure in my previous company and some questions were related to spark Sp sql then schema consistency data partitioning so like if you are sitting in a data engineer interview you have to be well versed with this concepts of partitioning data tables and um, then concepts of coalesce and repartition so they are yeah like mandatory thing so um these both were my technical rounds third one actually i was very unsure whether this would be my technical or cultural fit round i was not told about it earlier but it turned out to be a problem solving discussion for me so the interviewer assessed my ability to think outside the box and your knowledge of the latest industry trends like both national and international might help in this round so he was just discussing about the current affairs with me that's all so yeah fourth round was with ceo and founder that was a cultural fit round that was a 30 minute discussion with the ceo focusing on the like alignment with the company's vision and values so yeah that's a bit about my interview experience and also i learned a lot throughout this process like what resources should someone follow because you told a lot of things but if i am a software engineer i don't know most of these concepts so where do i get started from and what are the resources that you used okay so um one of the best free resources out there is data docs clubs data engineering zoom camp okay so it's super hands on like very practical and by the end you will actually uh, build real time data pipelines that is highly recommended okay then for specific tools there is this amazing spark playlist on youtube by raja's data engineering like his explanations are so crisp and clear he really breaks down spark in a way that is easy to grasp i found it super super helpful when i was learning big data tools and um speaking of structured learning i personally took uh, the course of shashank mishra so it's called um, data engineering with aws 
honestly this course uh, like worked very well for me because it's completely structured you go module by module and at the end you even get uh, project ideas to build your portfolio which is so valuable if you're starting out so um, if you prefer short affordable courses udemy also has great options especially for airflow dbt or bigquery and um, don't forget a lead code to practice sql and python that is very mandatory if you are aiming for like product based company you will have to practice dsa and sql questions both okay and advanced sql that too. yeah yeah definitely so does lead code have that much or uh, so where did you practice sql from i practiced sql from lead code totally so actually there is a structured course on lead code like they will be asking you questions related to joins a specific set of questions related to joins then after that window functions uh, so yeah like that you can practice and it will really help that's great to know and i'll try to link all the resources in the description yeah yeah definitely i'll send you yeah and then after i have someone has learned like where where do you apply like i don't know how many data engineering roles are there so uh, where did you apply from and how did you come to know about the role that you are currently in okay so okay first things first make sure you have got a solid linkedin and github profile seriously like recruiters check those um, put up your projects even small ones anything that shows um you have worked with python sql or built a pipeline it really helps and um, when it comes to applying of course there's a linkedin jobs and um, like company career pages uh, like you can directly visit their site and um, check those out but honestly most of the data engineering jobs i have seen are on nokri and insta hire these platforms are kind of underrated for data engineer roles but they are gold and here's a tip that um, don't wait until you feel ready to apply so like start applying um, early even if you are halfway through your learning because um, see here's what happens is that over time your resume starts getting boosted in their systems and after few weeks like you will notice recruiters um, from both even small and big companies reaching out sometimes you will be getting two to three calls in a day so it really builds momentum also um, don't underestimate the power of referrals try connecting with people uh, already working in this uh, like data engineering field um, i can say a simple hey i'm learning data engineering would love to know about your journey can sometimes open doors to referrals later and yeah like bottom line apply everywhere keep building projects and let the platform start working for you over time and uh, finally uh, like uh... there are people who get confused like what is a data analyst role what is data science and what is data engineering so what are the difference between these and like what are data engineering roles called like uh, if i if i am applying like what should i search for these are the questions okay, okay. so yeah there is a lot of fuss between these roles i know people uh, actually often mix up data engineer data analyst and data scientist but they are actually pretty different roles so first of data engineers they are um, we can say they are like the builders and plumbers of the data world they create the pipeline that move data from one place to another they um, they will clean it transform it and store it so it's ready for analysis basically they make sure the data is usable and accessible then you have got the data analyst so these are the folks who take that cleaned and organized data use it to answer like business questions so you can say that they write sql queries build reports dashboards and helps team understand what's happening like um we can say which product sold most last quarter they like such kind of questions will be like answered by data analyst then there is data scientist so they go a step further by using the data to predict, predict the future so they build machine learning models uh, do statistical analysis and solve more complex problems like uh, recommendation systems or maybe fraud detection so i can maybe explain a bit uh, with a simple example so maybe imagine a user goes on a, um, like amazon and places an order the data engineer makes sure all the order data like what was uh, bought price user info 
uh, gets collected and stored properly in the company's databases. Then the data anal analyst looks at the data to figure out things like how many people ordered this product today or which city had the most orders. And then the data scientist uses the data to, to predict things like what product should we recommend next to the user or how likely is this user to return something. So each role works with the same data, but uh, does something completely different. Am I making sense? <laughs> Yeah, 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 you're making sense. OK, so yeah. And uh, if like what are data engineering roles called? Uh, so if you are searching for a role on, say, Nokri or InstaHire, so what will the role be called? They can be called simply like data engineers. Or sometimes you have to read the job, descrip uh, job description itself. Uh, there must be, uh, actually, you have to ch uh, check the job description firstly. Like the tech stack of data will be uh, clearly like visible to you in the job description. Then you can know by that, like this SD job is for data team. Cool. I think we have covered most of the things. Uh, any final advice you have for someone trying to transition to this role? Okay, so hope will give you some uh, give you some clarity uh, on data engineering. And if you are thinking of getting into this field, just start small, keep building, and trust the process. So yeah, that's all from my end. Okay, so thank you so much, Isha, for your time. And I think it was a great discussion. And to the point, we have discussed most of the things. If you still have any questions, I will leave uh, Isha's LinkedIn and Twitter below, so you can ping her, and hopefully she'll reply. And uh, yeah, thank you again.